Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jazlene and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I'm going to be doing a spin-off video from a review that I did in the summertime. If you guys remember, I did a massive, quite long video on the Chanel Classic Double Flap in all three sizes that I have, which are the maxi size, the jumbo size, and then medium as well. And that's been a couple of months since I've done that and uh, I tried to be as thorough as possible but I did leave out some bits and I kind of regretted not doing them but then the video was already just getting so so long and overwhelming and it's one of those videos that you don't really kind of watch in one sitting I guess. It's, it's one of those videos that you go back to for reference so I tried to put as many details in that video as possible details on material, right? Different finishes, the sizing, the weight, ways to wear it, pros and cons of each size, and give you as much information as possible to make an informed decision. So I know that these videos are really, really helpful for me when I was shopping and you just want to have like as much information as possible when you are buying something pricey, right? I mean, it's, it's, it, I would do my research as well. So I'm hoping that you know, making these videos uh, contribute to your research and hopefully my tips are helpful for you, okay? So I kind of skipped over what fits in my maxi flap and uh, I just had a comment, it was um, in my notifications and uh, she's like, the great review, but I really hate that you didn't show the inside of the maxi and I thought about it and I'm like, you know, I really just should have done it. I don't know why I didn't do it. It was just, it, the video was just getting so long and it was getting so hot. <laughs> so. <laughs> And my camera was overheating, so I think I just kind of skipped over it thinking, because in reality, I put the same amount of stuff from my jumbo into my maxi, right? Like there's no real difference, except the maxi, it's a little bit more open and there's a little bit more leeway uh, buffer room than say the jumbo, okay? So I'm gonna do that just because I am carrying my jumbo classic flap. I've been carrying it for the last, oh wow, month now, nonstop. And I tend to wear the jumbo and the maxi in the winter time because of the fact that there's one, a very long strap drop. And if you if you haven't watched my massive review, watch that because then it has all the information of strap drop, weight, everything, okay? Uh, this is just gonna be strictly like what fits in each one. But I like it because there's a very comfortable strap drop. So if you're wearing like bulky knits and sweaters and like parkas, it's, it's a lot more comfortable. The strap drop on the jumbo, double strapped, is a little bit longer than the maxi. So even though I did that in that video, but you know what, you can, you can tell, right? You can tell that? Okay, so this is a longer strap drop than this one. But again, both very comfortable, even this one, to wear with a big parka, bulky coats, knits, etc. Also, in the winter time, if you are in Toronto, uh, Canada, but I mean, yeah, in, in the Toronto area, you guys know that the in the winter it's not like always sunny and crisp uh, even if it doesn't snow you may have points where you have a little bit of precipitation right so we have more precipitation at this time of the year so there's rain or there's like mist so like yesterday we had like mist and flakes of snow and it was on and off and then if i was wearing something that was say um light colored and lambskin uh probably not going to want to wear that in that sort of weather well, if it's caviar, you're better off, okay? Not saying that caviar is more durable because I've done, I've made that point in the Wallet on Chain review if you haven't watched that, but it's just that, you know, it's it's a little bit more, uh, there's more of like a, a glaze or a finish on this that can kind of roll the water off as opposed to lambskin, which can uh, absorb it. So that's kind of why I wear this. And then plus, you know, darker colors in the winter time you know, you're wearing like more blacks and all that, so it works. But anyway, it's quite heavy. It has a lot of stuff in it. This is quite stuffed. It's not organized at all. I'm not um, particularly, this is just how I'm carrying my bag. I just have a little scrap note piece of paper because I have to send something to somebody, so I just have a reminder in there. But I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. Okay. Here's the classic uh, jumbo double flop uh, in black caviar leather, gold hardware, and we're gonna open the turn lock. 
the first flap. So in here, I don't know, do I have it in here? Oh, I don't. Usually I put cash in here. I haven't put it in there recently, but in the back, little pocket, I have feminine hygiene products, so it fits right in there. Uh, sometimes I'll put cash in there as well, uh, some important document in there that I want to keep safe. So that's in there. And this is the contents of the bag. So I have the um, CC, it says Chanel, made in Italy. And inside, the first thing to come out is a little Ziploc pouch with a cloth mask. So my sister got me a bunch of these. And these are just cloth masks. They're not, I don't think they're the, that protective, but it's better than nothing. So if you're just kind of, if you need something, um, they're like Christmas themed ones. So they come in like a disposable bag. Although it's better to wear surgical masks. I'm just, that's what I usually wear. Uh, even if I'm out, you know, grocery shopping or doing anything, I always wear a surgical mask. We just have this in there for emergency purposes, okay? Uh, next, oh gosh, keys. So this is my key holder, uh, four ring key holder from Chanel. I've got sunglasses. So these are just a pair of Chanel sunglasses. I unboxed these in one of my previous videos. Very, very necessary for the winter. So if you have, you know, in the, in the I guess in the mornings because of daylight savings time, the sun is a lot harsher. So it reflects and it's helpful when you're driving to have a good pair of sunglasses and also if there's snow you get a lot of glare so yeah that you need you need sunglasses in your bag and next uh, in these back pockets here I have my card holder nothing in this other one this is kind of hard without I need to get one of those tripods that angle the camera down it'll make my life a lot easier but anyway so here I have my um, Louis Vuitton uh, Pochette Matisse. No. Here I have my uh, Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire. And next I've got gloves. So these are just fine little gloves. They don't really keep my hands warm, but they're better than nothing. So I have, when it's cold, you need better gloves, but these are just really thin. I can keep them in my bag if I, if I need um, some sort of layer, okay? Because when it gets cold, it's not cute. I have Chanel hand cream. I purely bought this to be bougie. I don't really see a difference between this and other cheaper hand creams, so I'll do a review on this afterwards. I'm also really lazy putting on hand cream, so that's probably why I don't notice a difference. Hermes uh, Bastia coin purse. I haven't used this in a while because I don't wear a whole lot of makeup anymore because we're wearing masks, but I just have like a little uh, brush. This is like from the Sephora. They give you like these little freebies sometimes when you renew your yeah, it's when you renew VIB Rouge for a year or something, but I have a number of these, but these are good to keep in your bag so your makeup doesn't get all over the place. I have another key holder. This is a Gouillard six ring key holder. So this is another set of keys. You, if you have any leather lined bags, it's a good idea to have key holders or something that holds your keys so that you don't get any scratching inside the bag. Um, I have like when I found this, this is something that I got on a flight, it's just a foldable comb, so, and brush. Uh, this is a one key fob that I have, and it's for another car, I don't drive it normally, but I, I have a key fob in my purse. And then this is just a little um, thing that I have with the Zumani bag organizers. I don't have the organizer in here, that's for my reissue, but it's got the same maroon lining, and I didn't know what this was for because it wasn't really a card holder, but I kind of like it to put my key fob inside so that it's not scratching up my bag. So there's that. Then I have floating around um, powder compact. I have a lipstick. I don't know. Can't remember what this one's called. Oh, it's all rubbed off. I can't read it. I really can't read it. If I find it, I'll put it in there. Um, I have another lipstick. This is Stilla in uh, Patina. And then I have a atomizer perfume, a very luxe looking. This is from Maison Francis Cook Jean. And this is the Baccarat Rouge. So that's the inside empty okay and then in here in the front pocket I have a whole bunch of crap in there 
I have another wide tooth comb. I don't know why I have two combs in there, but I've got, okay, so I've got random bits of paper. This is like a invoice. Oh gosh. Oh, I have, yeah, this is just, I don't know what that is. This is receipt, another receipt. I should probably throw these out. These are from like returns I've done. Another receipt. Another receipt, another receipt, and another receipt. Just a bunch of receipts that I probably don't need to carry anymore. So I'll sort those out. And then, I don't know if you guys seen this. This is actually the most useful thing that I have. Um, I had like a cell phone uh, jelly case for my old, old like iPhone 6. Yeah, iPhone 6. So it came in this. I got this at Dynamite. Okay, Dynamite's like a clothing store. <laughs> so, um, so I didn't throw this out because it's so neat. It's got like the zippered pouch. But anyway, I just put cash in here. So I just got all my cash all lined up in there and it's flat, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space. I can just put it in there because I don't really carry a wallet, right? So it's it's all in there. So it's either, in, now that I've started using this, I put this in the front or somewhere or I'll, I'll put cash in here, okay? So that is my bag empty. So it's a little bit more full these days than it was in the summertime uh, because I only carried it like maybe once or twice in the summer, but I was carrying my other smaller bags, okay? So in the maxi size, the maxi carries the same amount of stuff. However, it's taller, okay? So you have a little bit more buffer room, right? So. I prefer double flaps. That one was, the jumbo was a double flap. This is a double flap. I like it because of the structure and I like the fact that with the double flap, it's like a bag within a bag. So it creates these extra compartments that you wouldn't necessarily get with a single flap, right? So you, you wouldn't get this front compartment. You wouldn't get this back compartment. Okay, so that's kind of why I like it. Although some people find the second flap annoying. I don't really see that anymore. Maybe when, it, when the bag was new, it was kind of stiff and it was hard to open, but now it's just easy to get into and out of because the leather's relaxed a little bit. But I like it for the structure, okay? So um, if you are to get a single flap, okay, uh, it's not gonna be like a double bag within a bag, so I would highly advise getting an organizer for that to help maintain the structure of the bag, okay? So in this bag, and I didn't answer this question um, in the first video, but I had one of my early, early, like one of my first subscribers who asked me on Instagram, does it fit a MacBook Pro? So I did upload that answer on Instagram. I'm gonna do that here. So this is my MacBook. I have a, just a case, 13 inch MacBook Pro. It does fit in the maxi double flap. Okay, so we're gonna do this. It fits okay and you can close the bag you can put your charger in there it's fine it's already a heavy bag so why not just make it heavier and you can justify having a bougie work bag <laughs> but it does fit the maxi flap I would only do that in a double flap though because again in the single flap kind of mushy right so I don't want that to muck up the structure but if you are going to do it in the single flap put in a, a base uh, like organize like sorry put in a bag organizer. So Zumani does organizers as well. They also have like um, custom ones. I also have a coupon code for Zumani and I'll put that in the description box below. I don't make any money from it. It's just, it's just for the subscribers because I do have a bunch of organizers from them that I am using and they're great. So um, you could put that in the single flap. I don't really think you need an organizer for the double flap, but that's only really to protect the lining of the bag, I think for the double flap because there's already structure. But if you wanted to, you could get it for the double flap as well to protect the inside maroon lining because it can get scratched. So that does fit a MacBook Pro. And if it fits a MacBook Pro, you you bet it's gonna fit, oh. <laughs> you bet it's gonna fit a an iPad, okay? This is just their 10.2 inch iPad. Uh, and I have a, oh, I have a smart keyboard attached to this. Uh, I use this for charting uh, for work, so um, it's just convenient. And of course, of course it's gonna fit in there if the MacBook Pro fits in it. So you can use this for that. Um, I have an executive, I think this is an executive size, uh, notebook, and you can, this is just from Cambridge, it's nothing luxury, but you can also put that in there, okay? So you can fit that notebook. Let me see if a letter size notebook fits. 
hold on. Letter size notebook, does it fit? Yes, it does. So it's very practical, okay? You can't do that in the jumbo, okay? Let's, let's just try it out in the jumbo and you'll know what I mean, okay? So in the jumbo, because it's not as tall, okay? So it can fit widthwise, but it's not gonna fit upwards, okay? It's not gonna fit in the height. Um, executive size notebook doesn't fit and definitely not the iPad uh, well 10.2 inch iPad you can uh, actually you can actually you can fit a 10.2 inch iPad with the smart keyboard in the jumbo flap as well um, probably not that notebook cover because it's kind of wide but you could probably put in like a an A5, I think it's A5. So anything that's like around eight inches by six inches, you could probably fit in here, okay? So you could you could do that, but maxi, I mean, cause we use a lot of letter size stuff. Like the, I think the maxi size is great. I love the maxi size, I really do. Okay, continuing on, um, let's just, while I'm on the jumbo, sorry, I'm rushing through this because I have to go to work, <laughs> but I can fit a water bottle in it or water bottle, water bottle. <laughs> you can fit a water bottle in there if you wanted to. It, it could probably go, no, not face up, not up. This is just like a 500 mil water bottle. I also have a little lip liner rolling around in there. I should probably take that out. It's like a little nub of lip liner. So I'm gonna probably switch to my maxi since I'm gonna put everything inside, okay? So of course in the maxi, you can fit the water bottle, okay? Will it go? Oh, it actually stands up. So that's great. So you, you save a lot of real estate, okay? So the water bottle fits standing up, okay? Amazing. And of course, laying down, okay? So this is another reason why I love the maxi size because if you're gonna go big, why not go all the way? That's what I said in my last review. The weight between the maxi and the jumbo is not that significant. So if you want something that is gonna be a little bit more functional, get the maxi. And I just love the dimensions and the proportions of the maxi a lot more than the jumbo. I just love how long the flap is. It's very elegant looking. Um, if you're a guy and you're into handbags, you can wear this, totally you can wear this. You can actually do this crossbody too because the, the strap isn't as ridiculously long as the jumbo. Um, I'm not gonna get into too many details because that's in that review, so please, if you have time, watch that review. I went over all that stuff, okay? So let's get started by filling this up with the stuff that I am actually gonna carry. So um, you need money, so I'm gonna put cash in here. And I'm going to, sorry, I'm bending down because all my stuff is on the floor. <laughs> but uh, six ring, sorry, four ring Chanel key holder. all in there okay and I love this little I love this key holder because it looks like a little mini classic flap how how cute is that that's so cute okay so <laughs> that's gonna go in there and again it's gonna stand up um, I have my uh, mini pochette accessoire this has like little bits of makeup and stuff and although I have been carrying it around I'm not using it these days because I'm not putting on as much makeup and I don't need to really reapply because my half my face is covered most of the time so I really don't need it but I do have it in case okay uh, so that goes in there I'm gonna put my wide tooth comb in there it's good to have that my other six ring key holder is gonna go in as well okay oh gosh see I shouldn't do this if I'm in a rush I should really take my time but Actually, no, do it in a rush because when you're, you know, going about your day, you don't have time to just slot everything in, right? Okay, uh, six ring key holder. I've got my makeup powder stuff. Little brush can stand up. And of course, I need my card holder, so that's gonna go in that back little, um, 
flat gusset pocket there. Right, so it's just gonna go right into, oops, it's gonna go into that pocket in the right there. So it's in there. Um, I always, always do store feminine hygiene products, pads in my purse because you never know, well, you do kind of know when you're gonna need one, but then who's gonna remember, right? Or you might have somebody who needs one, so you have one or two in there, okay? Um, what else? Ooh. Perfume. So there's plenty of room in here, guys. It's gonna, it's, you don't really need to like line everything up, which is what I like. So if you're a parent with young kids, um, this is a great bag because you're obviously not gonna have time to really organize everything. Oh gosh, okay, so, uh, the key fob thingy. This is a car that I don't really drive a lot, so I'm just gonna stick that in there. And nowadays it's all automated, so if you have your bag with you, you can open the car, so you don't really need to take it out. The honkin' huge hand cream, that goes in there. Uh, what else? Mask. Mask. Um, lipstick. I should have actually just put the water bottle in there too. Hold on. There we go. Just kind of shuffle everything around. <laughs> okay. Water bottles in there, guys. <laughs> uh, gloves, necessary for the winter. Sunglasses. And we're good to go. So this is an excellent day bag. It has everything in here. It's heavy because there's a water bottle in there, but you know, it's there. It's amazing. Okay, so very, very nice. Um, I could have probably stuck in my iPad as well. Actually, I was just, I got you. Ten point two inch iPad is in there as well. Okay, I could have probably stuck in my MacBook Pro, but I'm not going to take it that far because <laughs> I use a, a a tote for my work stuff. Um, iPad, notebooks, all that, chargers, everything goes in there. Okay, so. I hope that this was helpful to you. Um, I, I'm sorry that I didn't include it in the last review and I can't, I, I, I actually had the comment in my notifications and I think, I can't remember what her name is but I'll insert it here. And then I tried to respond but then the comment disappeared and YouTube does that sometimes. If I don't respond to you, um, it's probably because YouTube ate my comment. So I'll get the notification, I can read part of the comment. If it's long, I might not get to read the rest of it. But then when I click on it, to read the rest of it or to respond, it's boom, it's like it disappeared. So I don't know if YouTube deletes comments or if it marks it as spam. I've even checked the spam folder as well. Or perhaps if the commenter accidentally deleted it. But I'd love to respond. So, um, you know, this video is for you <laughs> if you can, if you're watching, or I don't even know how to tag you. But, uh, you know, if you, um, I'll, I'll link this in that earlier massive review so that this is, you know, a part two and it's in the description box. And then I'll also link the master review to this video as well. I hope that this was really helpful to you. Uh, let me know if you have further questions as well. I'm gonna go over a few things on classic flaps as well. So those are planned in some of the videos to come. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you so much to those who have subscribed. I really do appreciate all your support. Um, I'm like nobody in YouTube world and um, it's, it's just really nice that we're building a little community here uh, that really makes me feel good. So thank you so much for spending this part of your day with me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.